Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. As an honor guard, we believe it is our privilege and honor to attend the funerals of our brothers and sisters across the nation who have died in the line of duty for their communities. With all that is happening in the world today, the Portland Police Bureau and many of our other agencies have been unable to attend the funerals of our brothers and sisters who have died in the line of duty. The Portland Police Bureau stands with you, your agency, and your families. Those who have given their all may be gone, but will never be forgotten. This video is just a small token of our appreciation for your dedication and sacrifice. On this memorial, we offer our prayers to God for those that have served and have lost their life. Father God, we thank you for people that have stood the test of time at the time that they were at. Comfort our heart, strengthen us for the time that we have today. And I pray this in your name, amen. Many people know the story of The Lord of the Rings, written by J.R. Tolkien. It was made into a movie series and uh, was very popular. But most people don't know that J.R. Tolkien was a World War I vet. And during his time serving in World War I, he fought on the front lines of one of the worst battles in the history of modern warfare, the Battle for Somme. During that battle, three million men fought and one million were wounded or killed. 
making that battle one of the worst in all modern history. In his books, Tolkien writes from that, that standpoint of being a military vet. Recently, I was reading to one of my, my sons um, from the Fellowship of the Ring, and I read this quote from there. The quote comes from a, a character named Gandalf, who is a great wizard. And he comes to this little town of hobbits to meet with a young hobbit named Frodo. And he tells him about this ring that he has. And this ring has been kind of an heirloom that's been passed down to him. And he finds out this ring is evil. And if he does nothing, evil will come and will destroy everything he loves. If he does something and tries to stop it, he still is probably going to die. So he's left with this, this situation. So Gandalf tells him this, and Frodo says this back to him. He says, I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf. So do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. As we look at this, this day of memorial, we remember those people who were faced with those moments and those times where they didn't have a choice. They fought and they lost their life for freedom. They stood for courage, for righteousness, for goodness. They stood for their brothers and sisters that stand with them. And they used that time that was placed before them for good. And we remember them today. And we remember those brothers and sisters that stand in the way of harm today. And we remember the fact that they are using their time that's been given them. And we thank God for them.